Excuse me. Hey, welcome to Youth Discipleship Class. Today is Sunday, May 10th, and we're going to be in John chapter 14, verses 1 to 14 today. I really encourage you to have a Bible handy as we're going to read it so that we can reflect on the story and respond to it. I do want to encourage you to continue to join us every Wednesday night for our video conference. Our middle schoolers join from 645 to 715, and then our high schoolers join from 715 to 745. I want to begin by asking you a question today. How has your heart been troubled? Maybe you've received some devastating news. Maybe you're feeling sad or depressed. But how has your heart been troubled? So let's read John chapter 14, verses 1 to 14 together. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father, living in me, who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Okay, I didn't spit that one out. The first question is, how would you describe the words way, truth, and life, as Jesus mentions them here? Well, I think of a way as a path. I think of truth as some type of truth to be revealed or something that's, you know, not a lie, something that's a fact, something that's actual, something you can see with your own eyes and touch with your own hands. And life just simply means the life that we live and the life that we have every single day. There's an interaction between Philip and Jesus. And Philip says, just show me the Father and that will be good enough. But the question we want to ask is, when is good enough actually good enough? I think about it in terms of doing your schoolwork. Are you doing it just to be good enough with it, or are you doing it to the best of your ability? Even when we think of our relationship with God, just good enough doesn't mean just coming to church, or I've been to a youth conference once, or I went to fall retreat once. That's just good enough. But we want to raise that level and say, I have a dynamic, growing relationship with Jesus. That's better if I actually drink it. Verse 14 says that we can ask Jesus for anything and he will do it. But how do you feel when you've asked Jesus for something and he didn't do it? I remember traveling to an away football game. I was in eighth grade and I remember sitting on the bus and I prayed to God that he would watch over us and keep us safe while we played. In the middle of the second quarter, I took an 88 sweep to the left side and I eventually broke my collarbone. I was in the hospital and my mom was sitting next to me and I said, you know, I prayed that God would watch over us and he didn't. Why didn't he answer my prayer? That was a very tough question. Don't know. That's good. And the last question we have for you today is who do you know that needs to hear this story? And how would you share it with them? Maybe they need to know that Jesus is the only way. He is the truth and he is the life. 
How would you bring it up in conversation and share it with them so that they will know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life? Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever day you're watching this, and we hope to see you again really soon. Just burnt my tongue.